Hello. I recently got a question on Twitter how to do um, a slider that controls a camera in a scene. So instead of trying to answer that on Twitter step by step, I decided to do my very first small uh, tutorial, also a little bit as a test case for, for recording. Okay, so um, I have this really, really simple um, setup here. So I just put a car inside so we can see something from a really nice asset pack, which I will link in the uh, description. Um, and beside that, there's not much to it. So first of all, when we want to control a camera, we should have a camera. So I will put in a camera here. Let's try to find a nice angle for it so we can see the car properly like this. Maybe we rotate down a bit. Yeah, I think that's okay. Um, okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make this camera a default camera when we start. So if I press, press start, I still can fly around. So normally, um, if you do proper game, you do maybe a, you, you add a new game mode, you create a game mode, you create a pawn, a controller and all that. But uh, for, for this little test case, we don't want to do this. This is more prototypish and a sim simple setup. So we can select the camera. Uh, and in the details, we can go down to auto activate for player and set that to player zero. So now automatically, if I press start, I'm um, I'm automatically uh, in the camera, and I cannot move and I cannot do anything right now because I'm bound to this camera. Okay, so that's the first step. So next step, what we want to do is we want to have an interface with this slider. So let's create that. So make a right click here in the content folder. We add a widget blueprint and call it just like hot. And when I open this up in the editor, I have the canvas here. So let's check for um, uh, for a slider. We want to do a slider. So let's drop in a slider here. We have our slider. Um, let's put him in the middle of the screen so we anchor it properly um, here. And then we can say the alignment on X is 0 0.5. Uh, and then let's make it like uh, bigger like this. And then uh, let's put it in the right position. So on X at zero, because it's the alignment of, of half of X. And then something like minus, minus 220, something like, like this. So we have our slider now. Um, let's make it a little bit more pretty. So first of all, we for, for later, we, we call this camera, camera slider. So we have it properly as variable for later and save and compile. And then next we want to make a little bit, look at a little bit, uh, change the appearance a bit. So let's start with, uh, in style, we have the, the sump image. We could make an image, etc. We don't, We don't want to do that. We just want to have a bigger handle. So let's make something like X20 and 35 or something like that. We can even make it a bit bigger like this. Um, and this is for the normal sump image. I copy this and move to the hovered one. So I can paste the same values here. So if I hover over it, it doesn't suddenly get smaller or something like that. Uh, and then maybe let's let's tint it like blue. And when you hover over it, like, like pinkish or something like that. So, okay. So we have the slider now. Uh, so next thing is we want to have it in the scene. So um, how can there again? There are a thousand ways to do it. A proper way would maybe to do it in the game mode. But again, for now, um, this is a simple setup. So we will use a um, level blueprint. Uh, we only have one level where we work on. Um, so let's open the level blueprint um, and in this uh, in begin play. So we add an event begin play here. So for begin play, we create the widget we we just made. So we create the widget, it's a hut. So now we created it, but we have to add it to the viewport. So we do um, add to add to viewport. So now it's added to the viewport. We don't have to care about the Z order right now. We have only one, so that isn't, that's okay. So if I now start, I have the slider here uh, and it's behaving like we wanted. If I uh, scroll over it, it's changing. Uh, I can change it, uh, but nothing is happening. So um, let's prepare our slider now in a way that is, is giving us values we can work with. So first of all, 
um, we can set the, the starting value and the minimum and maximum value. Currently it's between zero and one. Let's do it between minus one and zero. You will see later. Now it's jump in the middle because the standard value is, uh, is, uh, is zero. So next of all, we go down here and can add an event. So on value change. So that means in the moment something is changing, uh, this event gets fired. So to see that this works, we can use print, stri print string. Um, I come from a time making games where they were not really debugging for scripting. So you, s you debugged with print string. So I do this like every tiny single step I'm I'm doing with scripting. So now if, if I move it left and right, you can see I get, I get values from minus one to one. So this is nice, that's what we want. So, but instead of uh, just writing this number here, we know we have to figure out how to get this value to our camera. Um, and again, there are several ways to do this. Um, what I want to, try, want to try here is using the event dispatcher. So we can uh, actually shout this value into the world and then we can tell the level script, for example, to listen to this and do stuff with it. So uh, to do this, we add event dispatcher and we can call it on camera slider changed. Um, the next thing what we want to do is add an input because we want to deliver the value, which is a float. We can call it new value. Okay, so compile and save. And then we can just drop it in and we get several options. And what we want to do is we want to call it. Um, so we connect this and then we give it this value. So let's save. Um, so now it's shouting it out into the world. So let's go back to our level script. Um, so now our level script needs to um, uh, needs to to assign uh, itself to this uh, event. So I can drag out the hut I, I just created, and then when I begin to type assign, I have inside on camera change, which is uh, which is this event, and it generates the bind um, and the event for us. So let's put this here. Um, so now uh, what we do is uh, the, the hut is shouting it out into the world. We say, oh, we are interested in this, so please give me this value. So again, let's do a print string and then add this here. Save, compile, start. And if I move it now, you see I still get the value printed, but now not from the interface itself, but already uh, I get the information here. So one thing I forgot we need to do is when you normally press play and press inside, you don't have a mouse. That's the default behavior, but we want to see our mouse now. So we take the a player controller, which is automatically generated if I don't uh, do an own one. Um, so instead of, we could make an own one and we could set the values there, but we, we take the standard one look for mouse and then there is a setting that's called set show mouse cursor and we enable this we can do it here uh, let's move this a bit so it's clean and we can see what's going on so if i now start and click in i have my mouse so this is nice i can now uh, do this okay so next thing what we want to do is instead of this value uh, just being printed uh, we want this value to drive the camera. So we need to know the camera. Um, and that's the reason why I choose a level script for that because uh, we can go to the world outliner, track our camera actor here. Uh, so if I would delete it, uh, this wouldn't, this would compile with an error. So we have our camera uh, and what we actually want to do is uh, set actor location uh, is something we want to set in the moment uh, we get this value a change. So uh, to to we, we could hard code the current location, but what we also could do is uh, we can take it at begin play and say get actor location, and then uh, we tr uh, rem remember this as a, as a value. So we say uh, initial camera location um, as a variable. So at the beginning. We just remember where it is. So if the level designer would now move it around or we would do other stuff or want to change the camera or whatsoever, uh, we store this at the beginning. So what we want to do now is we grab this and we want to add um, this value actually uh, to, uh, 
uh, to this vector. So what we do is uh, we uh, add we add another vector. Um, so and when you take a look in the in the scene, uh, the the y is left and right. So um, we don't want to change the other values. So I split the struct and we only want to work with the y. So I put this in, connect this. Um, so what we the last step we need to do is we get here a value between minus one and one. So we want to multiply that to something meaningful uh, for the word coordination and put that in y. So let's say something like 200 might be, uh, might be working. Okay, so let's go here to full screen. And then now we have a slider moving the camera uh, left and right. So this is how you basically can do it. There are several other ways. Instead of just driving the camera here, you could also do um, an interpret and uh, have the camera dragging along it. You could have a kind of spline for the camera where you move it along. Uh, so there are several ways to, to do this much more sophisticated. But um, that is a really basic setup. Uh, I want to show. Um, so yeah, you just need the HUD. You just need the level script. You need some some lines here, uh, and um, that's basically it. So that was my my very first uh, tutorial. I'm a bit excited. Uh, so I think normally people on YouTube say leave me a subscribe, and what else? <laughs> I don't know. This is new for me. Um, but yeah, you can find me on Twitter uh, as Andy Dev. Uh, you can find me on Twitch. I'm streaming sometimes. Um, and I, I think if this is helpful, I will do more of those. So thanks for listening and uh, have a nice day and stay safe.